What's up guys and welcome back to Software Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2 and its latest updates for this month. Now literally they released a 400 megabyte update for this game recently and what they did was basically fuck up the game. That's every time they do a new update for the game, they fuck it up even more. Now, I'm here to help you guys out and what settings you should be using that will be the best for you to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the game settings and then I'm also going to go over stuff that you're going to change inside your windows to have a smoother gameplay experience. Because a lot of people are experiencing FPS loss, lag spikes stuttering in the game and just in general when you jump out of the plane you're getting stutters and you're getting low fps like 80 fps and stuff like that there's literally people commenting in my comments on my previous videos and stuff like that where they're getting 80 fps and lower with way better machines than me now i'm running a 9700k an rtx 2060 oc and 16 gigs of ram and i run my game perfectly fine with my previous video you can actually go check it out i actually do every single upscaling in the game and i also show the fps that i do and some gameplay so you can go check that out i'll actually leave it here at the top and literally just go have a look there which one in general is really good to use okay so something i didn't explain in those is this over here so you're going to go to the settings gear icon go to graphics and you're going to go to the quality tab over here have this obviously a custom because you're going to change this one over here which is the upscaling and sharpening in the game now right now at this very moment i highly recommend this i really really highly recommend this if you don't use any other upscaling and you only use amd like amd fsr 2.0 or amd fsr 1.0 i highly recommend that you use 2.0 at this very moment because what it's going to do is it's going to make the jagged edges of like cases loot cases and stuff like that and just in general the stuff in the game that has jagged edges like trees objects and stuff like that it will take it away but you're going to have to have this at quality do not put it at balance do not put it at performance. Do not put it at ultra performance. Yes, you will do more FPS in the game. Yes, okay. You will do more FPS. But the game is going to give you jagged edges. You can at least try balanced. If you have a really low-end budget gaming PC or budget gaming laptop, you can try out balance over here. I highly recommend 2.1 is the best one you can go for right now. Or you could go with Fidelity FX Cache. Everyone is using Fidelity FX Cache and a lot of people are enjoying it. The reason why that is, is because the sharpening in the game is really, really good and you do really, really good FPS. Now for the people out there that's running really high-end machines or at least mid-tier to high-tier end machines and they're doing really good FPS, they're not struggling with FPS, but they're struggling with stutter and stuff like that, then I highly recommend you go ahead and use this one over here, the very first upscaling and put this in ultra quality. It makes the game look like a triple A title game. I will not lie to you, it literally makes the game look like a triple A title game. It makes the game look really smooth, beautiful, good, there's no jagged edges, nothing is wrong with the quality inside the game when you have this at ultra quality and you have this upscaling over here. I do recommend to play around with this. If your machine can handle this, use it. Trust me, it is a really beautiful upscaling. I swear to God, and you need to have this at least at ultra quality or on quality. If your machine can't handle the ultra quality, go with quality. If your machine can't handle quality, go with balance. Try this out because I do recommend if you have a good enough machine and you know you do, go with this upscaling of here and try one of these. Just don't go with performance because what it's going to do is it's going to give you way better FPS, but your game's going to look like dog shit and you don't want that. Okay, from here, I highly do not recommend that you use NVIDIA DLSS because it gives you blur inside the game. On the left and right hand side okay not just your left and right hand side when you are moving in general now in this game you don't stand still obviously you move around it's a battle royale so it's a fast paced game whatever the fuck unless you're a person that camps and then when you stand still the game will look really good yeah pretty much but when you move around you are going to get blur in your fucking game okay so don't use the video dlss i don't recommend it you can try it out and see how it is for you because a lot of people have their own personal preference on the upscaling inside this game but for me right now this is what i'm going to go ahead and tell you you're going to use this if you have a good enough machine you're going to have this if you want fps and you can hit it up on quality or you can go with balance if you don't have the best of graphics cards out there 
Neither do I. Don't worry. Neither do I. I don't have the best of graphics cards. I have an RTX 2060 OC and she's been overclocked. Okay. I have her at quality and it makes the game look really, really fucking good. Now, something that plays a very big role once you have these enabled is this over here. The video memory scale, keep it at 90%. Have your texture resolution at normal. If your machine can't handle normal, go with low. There's not a lot of visual difference between normal and low inside the texture resolution inside the game itself. Don't worry, your game won't look like this. It will still look like that. The only reason why your game would look like this is if you put this at very low. I don't recommend this. Your game's going to look like fucking dog water. Don't put it to very low. Either low or normal. Now, for the people out there that want really good quality inside this game and they know their machine can handle it, go with this. Ultra quality, 90% of the year. Normal, high, high, high. Okay? This is for people out there that know they can run the game perfectly fine with their machine. Okay, now yet again, it's a big ass debate because a lot of people have really good machines and they still get low FPS. Now, if that is the case, then all you're going to need to do is you're going to go from here. You're going to go to AMD FSR 2.1. You're going to go to quality if you have got a good enough machine. Go to normal, high, high and high. I highly recommend that you go ahead and change it to this if you have a good enough machine to run this game on these settings. Okay. Now, if you have something that's not that great, you go with AMD FSR 2.1 as well, and you go with balance, you're going to go from normal to low, you're going to go this always on high, this you can go to low, this you can go to low as well, and you should be good to go. Then, something that plays a very big role, you can just copy my settings as I'm scrolling down, I'm not going to go over every single setting every fucking time I'm going to make a new video. I'm not going to do that. All right. So my place a very big role inside this game is the spot cache. Okay. It gives you less stuttering in the game. Now, right now, this very moment, I highly recommend you change this to ultra. Go ahead and change it to ultra with its latest update, the 400 megabyte update that they released. Go ahead and change it to ultra right now, not high. Keep it at ultra. And then scroll all the way down and then obviously have this on on plus boost, have this at off, have this at off and have this at off as well. A lot of people on my comments actually commented down below saying that they use the form grain. If you're one of those people, then go ahead and use that. I don't use this at all because what it does is it makes the game look a little bit fuzzy and I don't like that in my game. If you do, then you can go ahead and change it up a little bit at your own personal preference. You're going to apply these settings and you're going to go to interface and you're going to go to color customization and have this at full to two, both 100%, 100%, scroll down and go to your enemy, okay? Go to your enemy and actually choose a specific color that you want your enemy to be. So let's just say you want your enemy to be like a baby blue, right? Then I highly recommend don't pull it all the way up, put it about here. What it's gonna do is it's gonna make the color pop even more inside your game and your enemies will stand out a lot. I have mine as magenta, so pink all the way a little bit down like this and then apply it, then it becomes magenta. Magenta isn't a color in the game in general. There's no, not really a, any gun skin out there that's magenta. So that's why I use this color. Other colors are really common in the game. So this is why I use magenta. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the next steps that you're going to need to take to run your game perfectly fine with the latest updates. All right, so something I highly recommend you go ahead and do is once you're in your game and you just change those settings, go to your display, scroll all the way down and click on restart shader optimization. All right, then what you're going to need to do is quit out of the game. You're going to come here where I am now, which is your start and you go to your window settings over here. From here, you're going to go to gaming and you're going to go to game mode and keep game mode on at this very moment. It does actually increase FPS by a little bit and I highly recommend that you go ahead and keep this on. From here, you're going to go to graphic settings and make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned off. Please go ahead and turn it off. If you have Call of Duty inside here, like Warzone or Modern Warfare 2, please go ahead and remove it. Click on it all the way to the right. It will say remove, remove it. You do not need it to be on inside here, especially Call of Duty in general. It makes the game run worse. From here, you're going to click on the home button. And then from here, you're going to go to updated security and make sure that your windows is up to date on a regular basis. Please go ahead and check if your windows is up to date. Now, something I do want to mention is, as you can see, I'm still on Windows 10. A lot of people are experiencing bad issues with Windows 11, with Call of Duty in general. Now, I'm not saying you need to roll back to Windows 10. There is updates for Windows 11 to make the games run a little bit better. You're just going to need to go do a little bit of research. That's all you're going to need to do. 
there is a little bit of updates you need to go ahead and download and install please go ahead and do that because windows 11 is known for its problems for call of duty modern warfare 2 and warzone 2.0 so please go ahead and check those out just go google it out and check what's happening there all right i'm on windows 10 and my game runs perfectly fine now you see these over here where it's an optional thing i highly recommend you go ahead and download and install this i'm not going to do this now because then you're going to watch me download and install it from here you're going to go to home and you're going to go to privacy you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see it says background apps you're going to turn this from on to off because all of these things are going to run in the background and you do not need this to run in the background while you're playing your games now something i want to point out is this a lot of people might have way more things than me inside here that they don't use now if you have this on like this all of these things are going to run in the background for no reason so you need to close every single thing possible that you can turn off in the background so your games can run smoother especially warzone in general since the game is so fucking unoptimized go ahead and turn this off if you're a windows 10 user like me if you're a windows 11 user you're gonna have to individually turn these things off and disable them I'm not going to go into the whole Google and show you how to do this. Just go Google it. It's very easy to Google and find out how to do it. You're just going to disable individual things that you do not need. On the launch of you clicking onto the things, they'll open. Instead of them running all the time. Please go ahead and turn this off. Once you're done with that, you can click on the home button over here. And then from here, you're going to go to your apps. And then I highly recommend you go ahead and do this over here. Where a lot of people have too much shit on their machine go ahead and scroll down here and actually go and look what you have installed here and what you don't have installed here okay so obviously your windows things you do not delete but if your machine is overcrowded with stuff your machine is going to slow down so please go ahead and uninstall unnecessary bullshit on your machine that you do not need all right let's jump straight into the next step all right, so the next step will be this over here, which is NVIDIA control panel. You're going to right click on your desktop, open up NVIDIA control panel. If you are an NVIDIA user like me, and you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure you have this on use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. It's basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings and it's going to take you to this. Now, all you're going to need to do here is you're not going to copy these settings because I actually updated my GPU drivers. Now, something I want to point out is this. Every time you update your GPU drivers, Every time you update your GPU drivers, these settings inside here are going to change. Some of them will change. Like for instance, this has changed by me. So I put this on application controlled. And then this one over here as well has changed. You're going to put this on off like that. Okay. Keep this at off and then just copy every single setting I have inside here. Please go ahead and copy every single setting inside here. And you should be good to go. Now, the shader cache, which was in the game earlier on as well where you put it on ultra you're going to come here and put this on 100 gigs do not have it at driver default don't do not have it at disabled do not have it at unlimited keep it at 100 gigs what this will do is it will actually help you with stuttering inside the game All right from here you're going to scroll up a little bit a lot of people has asked me this which is the low latency mode in my comments a lot of people are saying that they only have the ultra option which is just ultra they don't have on they just have ultra go ahead and put this at ultra then if you only have that option if you have on, I do recommend playing around with them. I have mine on with my specific machine, 9700K, RTX 2060 OC, and 16 gigs of RAM, and every single thing has been overclocked. Right from here, you're just going to apply these settings. Once you have copied these settings, your screen might flash a couple of times. Don't worry about it. It's just applying the settings for you. Once you're done with that, you go to Convex Around and Physics, and then inside here, you're going to go over here. Auto Select, you're not going to select that. CPU, you're not going to select that. You're going to select your dedicated graphics card and then say apply if you haven't done this already. Adjust desktop color settings. You're going to come inside here and then I highly recommend that you just copy my settings as is and I highly recommend that you play around with this one over here. You're going to click on image 3 and then play around with this. If you put it all the way down, your screen is going to go black and white. As you put it up to its defaults, which is basically 50, you're going to see that your screen is basically dull. Now, when you start pulling it up, Digital vibrance and the contrast in your game is going to look much better and your desktop in general. So your windows will look better. So I have mine at 95 and it's my personal sweet spot. And I highly recommend you go ahead and apply these settings. So once you're done with this, you're just going to apply these settings. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for your new year. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just here to help the Warzone community as best I can. And as always, peace out.